Come on, man. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't over yet, man. You know what I'm saying? Because shit be at the, you know, at, at the top of a nigga's brain, so we just got to get right there. Why are you motherfuckers, nigga? Because it's like, nigga, my dad up been to the pen, nigga. Nigga grew up in the hood. Like I said, he ain't no banger like me. Never was, nigga. But, nigga, he was a street nigga to the max. And I be looking like, nigga, all the niggas credit they motherfucking mom, nigga, all the time. And what was they mom doing? Getting hooked on motherfucking drugs. Getting fucked by a whole bunch of nigga. Having a whole bunch of other brothers and sisters, nigga. That's not by one parent, nigga. So how is your mama hell of a bitch all the time? In every situation? That's like a sad story. That's a sad ass story. Keep it real. Nigga, I love my mom, nigga, on everything, nigga. But my dad was fucking my mom, nigga. But I had the opportunity to meet my dad and fuck with my dad, nigga, all the time. Yeah, nigga, and I see the difference on my mama. So stop crediting your mom. Nigga, you always want to be around here, nigga. What? Your mom had you eat, nigga, motherfucking noodles, nigga, every motherfucking day of the motherfucking week? Because she was out here sucking some nigga's dick? But you want to credit the bitch just for holding on that dick? That nasty-ass dick held the bitch on. Nigga, but you want to see here, oh, yeah. Yeah, nah, fuck that, nigga. Remember, especially if you, especially if you a man from that point of view, nigga. Yeah, you got to honor that, nigga. Yeah, you fuck pussy, nigga. Pussy don't fuck you, boy. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, if you a man. Yeah, you fuck pussy. Pussy don't fuck you, boy. Yeah, remember that part. But see, that's what I'm saying. Some of the motherfucking moms that be teaching that type of shit to the kids just be talking bad as fuck about the baby's daddy for no motherfucking reason. Always want to dog him out. Nigga, I didn't even hear my dad, nigga, mention my mom up. That nigga can give a fuck. When I came into this world, nigga, my dad and mom weren't even together. And when I could start comprehending from the both of them, my dad wasn't gonna deal with no bitch like my mom. Nigga, they was both gone, both OCD motherfuckers. And my mom probably wasn't, excuse me, gonna deal with a motherfucker like my dad. Vice versa. But I'ma tell you though, yeah, my mom respected that the, yeah, the nigga that my dad was. Yeah, the nigga that he really was, yeah. That nigga picking me up every weekend, nigga be going to Fontana, nigga. That nigga picking me up in the jungles every motherfucking Saturday morning. Nigga, same time, you better be ready, nigga. And my dad, nigga, you ain't, nigga. My mom, that's why I say both my parents got OCD. You ain't walking outside the house, nigga. Your hair better be done, better not be nappy, nigga. Lotion on your skin, nigga, teeth brushing on everything. And I'll come back to L.A., nigga, go out to Fontana, nigga, for the weekend, nigga, come back Monday, because he'll pick me up Saturday. So he was making sure he get his two days with a little, with, with a little, with a little said. Yeah, nigga, I'm junior. Yeah. Cedric Romero Booker Jr., boy. Yeah, my dad's senior, nigga. Yeah, and I love that shit. Nigga, yeah, my mama, nigga, on everything. But that nigga's come to, nigga, and his girl dropped me off, nigga. His girl dropped me off Lynette, nigga, back in L.A., nigga. Monday morning, nigga, my grandma's house, and I go straight to school. Monday morning, nigga, wake up at 4 o'clock, nigga. Discipline. I knew what my dad said whatever, nigga, or my mom. But especially my dad, nigga. That nigga tapped me, nigga, boom. Said it's time to get up. Boom. He hit me once, nigga. It was never, I, I never laid in that bed, nigga, over 30 seconds for when that nigga ever tapped me on a Monday morning. Because you felt it. You felt it. You felt that nigga's energy. It wasn't nothing to play with. It wasn't nothing to, nigga, his demons, I got to deal with his demons today. Because that's what life is about. The demons got passed on to me. I got to deal with my dad's demons. I'm dealing with them motherfuckers, but boy, that's what I'm saying. All that shit was in him, nigga, yeah, I seen it come facing me, and it still will. This shit is never ending. It's another battle. It's like squabbling and fighting one time. This gonna, this gonna be my, this, this is my first fight and my only fight. Nigga, you was a buster if you think like that. What type of nigga thinks that? This, this is my first war and my only war. Nigga, you calling quits. You can get in any type of war. Don't think all the time that disengaging or running away from a situation won't create the conflict that will cause war again. It's always the yin and the yang. I don't care how much shit is gonna promote positivity, positivity, sometimes that shit clogs your brain. And that's why motherfuckers think when some soft shit happens, they get hella emotional because all they pay attention to is just the positive and they just let the negative shit just go away from their go away from their brain totally.
No, you always got to know the negative and the positive. That's why you got to weigh your options. Duh. Put your finger cap on, man. It's Stone Diesel. Y'all know. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know this shit got to go up, man. You feel me? Because I ain't going to let y'all, man, when I start really selling the energy to y'all. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? You're going to be like, God damn. But the motherfuckers that going to buy it going to be like, damn, nigga. I'm loving it. But the price ain't gonna be too high though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm always gonna give you a little dose of free, man, because I got enough of it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm that good in the dice game. You know what I'm saying? Bet on me though. But that's what I'm saying though. So always remember that, man. We know your mom's there. We love mama. I love my mom. My mom dead right now. You feel me? My mom been dead since 2005. My motherfucking dad been dead since when that nigga died, blood. That nigga died in 2000 motherfucking 16. You feel me? 2016. So, I'm saying with, with your mom, man, you know what I'm saying? Really look at it, especially if you a male, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes it sound like the right thing, but if you that nigga, you already know. Mom, how you let niggas treat you like this? You up here sucking dick and shit up in the house. You talking about you got a son and all this and that. And this and the other. You got to be thinking this is shit inside your mom. And then having them real good ass conversations with her. If you feel like your shit ain't ending up right. But niggas want to get on their dad for anything. Blood my dad with a fucking blood on my mom. Slap the shit out of me for some buster ass shit ass. That nigga, that nigga was telling. Nigga, like I said before. Y'all going over a bitch's house, he fucking bitch, nigga. I said, we spent the night over here tonight. My nigga, my dad was wrong, I'm coming with that shit. Picking me up, nigga, screwdrivers in the car, nigga, all the shit. Nigga, we going out to the Coliseum, Laker games, nigga, all the shit. Nigga, I'm seven years old, gas powered, dune buggy, remote control airplane. Nigga, I'm like, I can't even figure this shit out right now, I'm only seven. My dad serves it. Nigga, Andy talked to me well. Nigga, I get out that motherfucking Z, nigga, 300, nigga, 300X, nigga, that nigga tell me, nigga, that nigga tell me, nigga, seven years old, that nigga tell me, nigga, yeah, nigga, that, yeah, they said if you ever see some motherfuckers getting on me, little brother, he always called me little brother, said, Cedric, he never said my whole name, he called me said a little brother, that's the only thing I ever, I've never heard my dad tell me, call me, refer to me as Cedric, ever, Cedric, not one time. Said a little brother. Hey, little brother, if you see somebody, if you see me ever getting into it, here's the gun right here. Have you ever seen a gun before? I'm like, yeah, yeah, mom got one. You feel me? <laughs> mom got one. Nigga, we living on, we living in the James on Murfield. Nigga, this is when the jungle's active. It's a nigga crazy. It's a whole nother terrain. This shit is, this shit, that's, that's a whole nother one. But anyway, yeah, if you see me getting into it, said, just, hey, yeah, shoot at them motherfuckers. Make sure you don't hit me, little brother. I'm like, all right, dad, that nigga showed me a 38. That nigga tell me about it and everything. He don't just show, he let me know what type of gun, all the shit. Have I ever seen one? It ain't no lies coming in. It ain't no stuttering. You don't go like this. You don't go like this. You know you seen your mom's gun. Remember, he fucking my mom, so he know my mom keeps straps. He got to know what type of woman this is. So what would I, look, I'm only created because of these two motherfuckers. So if these two motherfuckers that got this, that, that they're not together, but they done had this bond to create me, and I know they both show me this and show me that, and it adds up, you can't sit here be telling your own genetic code like that, no lies. That's where you motherfuckers get it fucked up. So when my dad asked me, have you ever seen one of these before? If I'd be like, no, but I know I see my mom with guns, see? That's gonna create, see? And guess what? When my dad, when my dad go ask my mom, hey, said never seen no guns, she don't, he don't give a fuck if I'm only seven years old. He don't give a fuck, he's gonna ask my mom. Things are going great. And what's my mom say, yeah. Yeah, I know he probably gonna see mine a couple times. They both gonna look at me, and they ain't even together. They both gonna team up. Cause they don't produce no bitch ass shit like that. They both them. That's why, that's why they didn't argue. It wasn't no child support thing. It wasn't none of that. Cause even though they didn't get along, whatever they had going on with a relationship, they both respected. They were some real motherfuckers and they wasn't, they wasn't gonna be together, but they wasn't gonna just be on no bullshit either. 
They would look at me like, said, come here, you told me your mom will whoop that one of them got on me. Bop, 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 off the dribble. Beat my motherfucking ass so hard, you would have knew not to ever. I didn't even, even, I never even got that deep though because they done whooped my ass way before then, hella hard. So see what I'm saying? So I got the picture way before then. So I'm saying, man, remember that, man, some time, man, when you're, I'm gonna say it once again, man, your mom trying to say all that, man, mom, why would you let a nigga fuck you like that? Why would you let a nigga abuse you like that? Why would you let, woo, 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 question that shit, especially if you were whoever. Come on, man, I'm making a lot of sense right now. Stone Diesel, man, it's Diesel talk, man. We gonna walk the walk. <laughs> yeah, remember, it's water in this cup, though. You want some?